So I'm not necessarily going to really speak too much on this because I don't necessarily think this trade is going to happen anymore, although I have heard some words about that it could still be on. But for those of you who didn't know about this, the New York Knicks were actually one of the teams really, really keen on trying to trade for OG Ananobi before the season started. And this is all being reported by Ian Begley. I also, I think, believe that Ian, Be uh, Ian Begley, sorry, I should say, did suggest that the New York Knicks are still interested and still, you know, potentially going to attempt to try and trade for, you know, OG Ananobi when the time does come for it, whether that's going to be on the trade deadline or maybe the end of the season. I'm assuming more of the end of the season. But I'd like to start off by saying, I actually think this is a perfect fit for the New York Knicks. If they're going to actually stick by Tom Thibodeau and say, this dude is our guy, he's going to, you know, bring the defense that we really want then you got to kind of build the team he wants to build. You know, he has had a lot of issues with a lot of offensive players in the past, Evan Fournier being one of them, Kemba Walker being another. Even though Derrick Rose has looked good sometimes, again, he's had a lot of injuries here and there with his New York Knicks team. I don't necessarily know if he fits in with what Tom Thibodeau is trying to do. Jalen Brunson doesn't really fit in, but the dude's still playing out of his mind, so I don't think anyone really cares about that a whole lot. I actually think that if you're going to keep Tom Thibodeau, then you got to go out and get the players that he wants on this team. And he wants defenders, and it looks like he might want to add some shooters now because, again, he's got RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, and Jalen Brunson being the shot creators in that starting five. If you go out and get OG, he actually would be relatively perfect for this team because we know OG Ananobi can low-key cook without the basketball. This dude is an elite, an elite three-point shooter, one of the best in the game. It was also one of the most underrated defenders, I think, in the league as well. We know it did look like that OG wanted to leave the Toronto Raptors and request a trade at the end of last season. A big theory and report that was going on, and it's a theory that I had and thought could actually be true, was the talk and murmur of you know, OG Ananobi actually going to the Portland Trailblazers last season where they would be giving up Shade and Sharp, you know, their pick number, seven and they would be moving on from josh hart to somewhat make the contract match up i thought this was actually a really good trade by the toronto raptors and portland in doing this portland would have a starting five of i think dame at the one simon to the two og at the three jeremy grant at the four and nurkic at the five could have been legit like the best starting five in the game but they didn't go for it they opted for josh hart which hasn't been the best starting five in the game it's been pretty goddamn good though Portland team actually really good. That is lack a lot of depth, I think, off that bench and have had a lot of injuries this season too. But if you're going to be the New York Knicks, I do think going out for him would be cool. There are a couple of issues though in saying all this. I genuinely believe the reason OG Ananobi wanted to leave is because he wants to be a second or first option on this team. But with the Toronto Raptors having Fred Van Vliet um, and Pascal Siakam, you're not going to be a top two option it doesn't look like not just that they've got other scorers here and there like gary trent and now scotty barnes who have to cook and then that leaves og ananobi who will range from the third to fifth option and i just i'm not sure if that's what he wants he's also had an even better season this year averaging around 19 points and six rebounds a game being a very good defender and still shooting around 36 percent from three again it's a little down from previous years but that's because he's taken so much more of a shot creation uh, role sometimes on this Raptors team because that's what he wants. I, I do think there are teams out there that can look to put him in a shot creator option. If, if we're not going to say he doesn't want to be a shot creator, then the Cleveland Cavaliers are flat out nearly the most perfect team for him to go to because the only thing stopping them from winning a championship is maybe a small forward. And if they brought an OG to a defense and shooting, Jesus Christ. Like, it's not like the Cavaliers couldn't do it either. Like, if they offered up, if, if Raptors were going to somewhat start somewhat of a rebuild they could offer up a core and someone else in a first round pick to get it done i think they still have one first to work with raptors would probably accept that at core was a top five pick once upon a time he just hasn't necessarily fit in the league like some people thought low key would actually be really good but yeah i do think the knicks should be interested in him should the raps trade him i mean you, you might have to I, I think it might be better the raptors are 15 and 19 this season haven't been that good. 
there are a lot of alarm bells ringing and there are some people saying they're going to trade some dudes to rebuild on the run again they've still got scotty Barnes being a fourth overall pick or whatever there was rumors a year or so ago they were going to trade pascal siakam that could happen if fred van vliet's a free agent so if they don't think he's going to re-sign they could trade him at the deadline or something like that it's going to be really interesting to see how the raptors play this out if there was one team who i think should go after oj I, it has to be the Charlotte Hornets. The Charlotte Hornets have LaMelo Ball just wasting time in Charlotte. This dude wants to make the playoffs, and he has no second option. Kerry Rozier is kind of the second option, but his defense has been terrible this year. Kelly Oubre is low-key been cooking, but that's only when LaMelo hasn't been playing. I think, again, yeah, Kelly Olenek averaging 21 and 5 a game. Could definitely be a player that maybe is up for trade pretty soon, too. Yeah, there's a lot of really interesting things, I think, to go down here. If I was Charlotte, I'd definitely offer up a couple first-round picks and a player to try and get him to the team. But yeah, let's see how this OG Ananobi stuff goes. Should the New York Knicks try and trade for him? Of course. Will they? Probably not. I think the Raptors will either keep him or a team like Charlotte will offer up, again, PJ Washington. Uh, I think maybe like a Kali Ubre in a first round pick or two to maybe make that happen. That nearly even matches your salaries. Works pretty well, that trade. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for the latest NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you guys think the Knicks should try and trade for OG Ananobi or should they not? Of course, I would like to know. Don't forget to subscribe to my, you know, gaming channel, my IRL slash long channel. All of them will be getting linked down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.